Hey guys, Zue here and welcome to another Feedback Friday Summary video, a series where Feedback Fridays are summarized for you. Note that I have decided to put the weekly Marketplace News video on hold until I figure out how to better approach it. And now, without further ado, let's start with today's video. This week's Feedback Friday gave us a better idea of the upcoming mini event that is due to start soon and end right at the launch of Queso Geyser. The upcoming mini event will last for about a week and will drop the new Dragon Shard eggs at a rate of about 1 egg every 5 catches. The Dragon Shard egg is a global drop for this mini event only. It will contain one Dragon Shard and as well as a Queso Team loot. Uh, so like I said, intro for Queso Geyser, so they're going to be a new global drop of eggs, so you won't need to stop what you're doing, you can participate pretty well anywhere in the kingdom. I think the only requirement is that you need to be initiate or above to find the eggs. Uh, inside each egg, you're going to find some modest Queso Geyser supplies, you can think things like bland queso, maybe some medium spice leaves, some of the lower tier Queso Geyser stuff to help you out. Uh, inside each egg, you also find a new item called a Dragon Shard, and you'll be able to spend those at any charm shop, general store, or cartographer uh, for some rewards as well. The only exception to this would be the Prize Mice and the Relic Hunter Mouse, as mentioned by Dave. And last but not least, you will have to complete Extinguish Inferno, the engulfed adventure, in order to buy the new map piece. Will there be additional requirements for getting the map piece? Yes, it will also require that you have completed the Inferna adventure. Uh, so if you haven't wrapped that up yet, you might want to take care of that, otherwise uh, you won't be able to purchase the map piece with the Dragon Shards. Uh, that said, once the area is officially released, you'll be able to get the map piece for gold and not sure from the cartographer. So uh, it's not like you'll miss out on the map piece, but you can save yourself some gold and some not sure. And now for some spoiler alert, Queso Geyser concept as shared by Dave. Is, would the resource grind be based on bland queso leaves and dragon shards, or would it be another grind resource to look up for? Uh, it's an expansion of Queso Canyon. It's, uh, the Queso Geyser is going to be in Queso Canyon. It uses a lot of the same types of cheese, you have bland queso, the various types of mild, medium, hot, flaming, and even wildfire uh, queso cheese as well. Uh, that's why there's new resources as well to collect there. Uh, the premise of the area is that you are building these various uh, tiers of cork that you shove in the geyser, builds up pressure, and that causes a big eruption to uh, put a bunch of a mi fine mist of queso cheese in the air as the geyser, uh, queso geyser erupts. Uh, and that lures dragon mice down towards your trap, and so you can capture the lucrative dragon mice. Also mentioned by Dave are some of the new traps featured in the Crystal Geyser area. So we've got a Hydro Trap that has 11,000 power and a 30% power bonus paired with 25 luck. A Tactical Trap that has 9,000 power with a 20% power bonus paired with 23 luck. And finally a Physical Trap with 12,000 power which makes it the strongest or most powerful trap in the entire game with a 25% power bonus paired with 25 luck. And that equates to and that's it for this week's Feedback Friday Summary. Are you one of those people like me still trying to complete the Queso area? Or have you already finished preparing for the release of Queso Geyser? Let me know in the comments down below and be sure to like and subscribe for more Mahasan content.